actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? What did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such horrible things to us? I want out! Let me out of here right now! Um, if you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms tonight? Or just for tonight? Switch rooms. Hey everybody, I am Tashamite, and welcome back to another Danganronpa after a very long break, which I do apologize for. Alright, so I'm just gonna put this out there right at the beginning of the video. This will include a little bit of gore. Any of you who know anything about Danganronpa do know what I'm talking about. Just a fair heads up, there will be gore a little bit. If you count pink blood, there will be death. Okay, this is just you being a creep, dude. You don't need to be a creep. That's... There wasn't any doubt about it. It was the DVD with her name on it we'd found in the AV room. That reminds me. I never did get a chance to ask to find out what was in her video. But it's probably best if I wait till she brings it up again. No, probably not. Probably not. Yeah, she wouldn't like you snooping around. Okay, I'm skipping all of, over all of this because it's just him being a creep about sleeping in his crush's room. Feeling a little bit better than before. I fell asleep. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Yes, that is the face I want to see when I wake up in the morning. The face of the murder bear. Yes. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Make me. Well, I guess I'm up. I sat up, still half asleep, and rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was in Sayaka's room. I just remembered. I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. I'd better get going. Ooh, music, yes. I left Sayaka's room and made my way into the dining hall. A few people had already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. <laughs> Hello, Makoto, and good morning. Can you believe it? I was the very first one here this morning. <laughs> good morning. Hey, Makoto. Morning. I suppose I'm early. I figured out everyone who'd arrived on time would be considered model high school students. And the ones who showed up a little late... Yo. Yo. Sorry. Sorry I'm late. My makeup just would not cooperate this morning. Ah, well, hello. <laughs> My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning, uh... Duty took a little bit longer than usual. We're the types with a more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers fall into this category. I would say I'm offended, but honestly, it's true. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad, my bad. <laughs> my bad, guys. Slept right through my alarm. What's your problem? What? Is it so awful to be late? Yo! I didn't ever sleep, just so you know. Nope, got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Don't care about time or other people in general. They're the kind to move at their own pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived. At least, that's how it was supposed to go. Hmm. Wait, aren't we still missing some people? Oh. Yeah, Saika and Byaku are in here, yeah. I don't know about Byaku, yeah, but... 
I would definitely put Sayaka in the model high schooler category. So for her to be so late... What? What's going on? Did something happen? Yo. Hey man! Have you seen... Blah, blah, blah. Have you seen Sayaka? <laughs> Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Um... Did she forget about our breakfast promise? However... I got the sense she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small, dark speck of unease rose up inside of me. And that speck started to grow quickly. I, I need to go. I have to check on her. Those words barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Where I headed first was... My room, where I'd let Saiga stay for a single night. Where she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of that one night, the room had been completely transformed. B what the hell? Sword. This is the replica sword I brought back for self defense. It's been taken out of its sheath. More importantly, okay, you- Okay, fine, I'll give you what you want. He's not gonna shut up. He won't let me look around the room until we look for Sayaka, so. Alright. If you guys don't want to see a dead body, don't watch this part. I'll let you guys know when it's safe if you just want to, like, close your eyes or something. Let's take a look why are we talking like this inside we are still going <laughs> mm. That's a lovely sight to wake up to. Even better than the murder bear. It took me a second to realize that I was screaming. What I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried itself in my brain. And then... And then... Everything... went black. Chapter 1, To Survive. All right, you guys are safe if you closed your eyes. It's it's good now. We're just staring at a murder bear. That's his new name now, just for the record. <laughs> when I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before. And when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Again, dude, that's more than just one someone. Ah! Ah! You're finally awake! Are you okay? Yeah. Now's no time for sleeping. Get your ass up! Uh huh? Uh, um. You were unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Why did you carry me, dude? You're scrawny. Then again, I am a tiny boy, but still. Well. It's no surprise, considering what happened. What? happened oh okay there's a flash um hey are you okay so it wasn't a dream what i saw it was real hmm. and that's right it really did happen saika is dead a deep dark despair worked its way through my body and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Saika's... If Saika's... Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Saika is completely and irrevocably dead. No, I have to see for myself. You did and you passed out, my dude. You don't need to check again. Wow. Listen to what? us, man. What do you think's gonna uh, What do you think's gonna happen if you go out there? Well, what good is that gonna do just sitting around here? 
I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym at a time like this? Our friend, Sayaka, she is... She's dead! Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she really was gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here now either. Then why... Shouldn't it be obvious, Monokuma? He told us to all come here. Hey, Will, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay. But, but... So... I'm the one who convinced him to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong! For the record, I'm not even going to try and do his voice. I am not going to be able to do it. I would never do that. If you can believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> he's here again. Hey! Um... Unless someone violates the school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you, I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up! I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the bear times one rule. Do I even want to know what that is? But, but... Then, who did it? Who killed her? Come on! You already know the answer. The one who killed her is... One of you! Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Saika? Don't be stupid, that's... Wah -wah? Hmm? What's the matter? You guys all look like you're about to see a dove get shot up with a Gatling gun. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when all of this began? One of you decided to kill Saika so you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well... Y you're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope, sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. And if they wanted to... The one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... Are you serious? What? What is this? Someone... Someone killed someone? <laughs> it's amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. <laughs> if one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? Huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> I don't think he's agreeing with that one. What? Nice try, Biaka, yeah. Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cuz... <laughs> naive! You're just so naive! You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz out of here? Hey! You're super come naive! On now. Delishly naive! Hellishly naive! No, no, no! The real thing has just begun! The real thing? Now then! Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... 
You are referring to rule number six of the school regulations. If you are the blackened that committed the murder, you can't be found out by the other students. That is what you are talking about, is it not? In other words... Bingo! It's not enough just to kill someone. You have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. So, a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. Class trial? Hmm. Yep, it'll begin a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the blackened, who committed the murder. And they, and the spotless students, will all engage in one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which, of course, means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Well... So, um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Oh, let's well, put it simply, what? it's execution. <laughs> yeah. Execution? What? And by execution, you mean... Oh, poor baby. Execution is... Execution. Execution! Yes, we know what the word is, thank you very much. Electric chair! Bzz, bzz, poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! Sounds like a time. So, to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? Well done. What a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at you, implying that you didn't do it without actually saying it. So it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system or an inquisition type thing. No idea what either of those mean. Which means you'll be deciding who you think the blackened is. What am I doing with my voice? Hmm. But judge carefully, because all your lives are on the line. Uh huh. Okay, let me just add the rule I just described to your handbook. Make sure to keep it in mind. Hey! Well, wait, hold on a second. What the hell are you talking You're about? freaking insane, you know that? Huh? Hmm? What the? A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? What? Are you saying you're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. What the hell are you talking about? What? Punishment? Hmm. I might, I don't know, throw you into deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the hell up! Say whatever you want. I'm not going to be a part of this. I don't believe it! Don't be so selfish. Stop it! You're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want. It's got nothing to do with me. <sighs> the evil standing before me. I'm trembling with fear. Shing! But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, <laughs> you'll have to go through me first. Okay, heads up. Just, he yeah, heads up. 
body. What? Bleh, how do I describe this? Uh, murder. Yes, that's the word. As he said that, he came charging at us, although it was more of a waddle. But then... Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Huh? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! You violated a school regulation! I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me, godly spear, Gunnir! <laughs> this wasn't supposed to... Why? Me? Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. No way! W what the? I don't... Uh, th this can't be real. Yeah! Well now. Now, I'm painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know. <laughs> but I guess you all need to be taught a lesson after all. Ah, what an amazing promise! But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me, and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you'd best obey those school regulations. Oh boy. Junko's body had been paled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I'd ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Nobody could deny what they'd seen. Junko, who until just a second ago had been our friend, was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. Hey, um... It's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. Just when died. It's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventful end of the world itself. <laughs> I would not call what just happened natural. She got murdered by a teddy bear. This isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you don't really die. <laughs> this is reality. Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in a prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew it. No, you've been wanting to kill us this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly, you can't kill time. Or are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste the time this whole time? Yeah, Come on, what do you take me for? I'm Monokuma. Well now. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give to you to help in your search for the Blackened. This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like to call it. It's the Monokuma file. <laughs> I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. Yeah. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Were any of you at home asking? Because <laughs> the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So then... Wait, so then, you know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do! 
If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair judgment during the trial now, could I? Correct. And that's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay then, we'll meet up at the class trial in a little while. That's descriptive. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Saika and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there was more to it than that. It was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that we didn't know, and that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We'd found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet, even in such a perversely terrible situation, he likes saying the word situation apparently. She didn't show even the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Hey. Now's no time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead to some disastrous result as having total faith in someone. What? Huh? In other words, cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not trust is, of course, up to you. <laughs> Continuing to think about and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? S saying stuff like that is just... <sighs> How many times have I told you? Anyone who can't adapt will die. Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable or unwilling to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's terrible! What an awful thing to say, especially after what's happened. Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we are all going to die here. <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our research right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell am I letting someone kill me. Alright, damn it. Let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment. They were using it like a mantra to give them strength. But they're right. We just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to. We have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I had to know why Saika had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept her death, which is why I don't have any choice. I have to do this. Alrighty then, and now, alright, now we're into the thick of it. Hey, before we start searching for Saika's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. That is. A very good idea, honestly. What do you mean? Hm. 
You think you have someone putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. Hey, I don't have to think anyway. I don't like having to think anyway. We can tell, Mondo. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Hmm. Okay then. We can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> well, no. We can't leave him there all alone. What? What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, that's the f what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. <sighs> what? Fuck you! So then. Fine. Then I'll stay on guard duty as well. That way, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Two player co op based defense with two of them. With their stats, they're totally OP. I think that's the point. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Oh boy. Okay. Can I leave? No, I don't want to. Do I have to look at her body? I gently place my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touch her wrist to check for a pulse. Like they do in the movies and stuff, but... She... Really is dead. What were you expecting? There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check after those injuries and losing that much blood. Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Uh huh? Hold on. <laughs> hold, hold on. Just wait a second. Sh she's dead? Then that means. What? 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 That means everything that happened so far is real? It's not a joke or whatever? It's really real? Let me out of here! Hell no! Someone save me! Let me out of here! What's your there problem? goes his jail. You're just, just accepting that. Can I leave? No, Kyoko. Do I have to talk to everyone? Just a second. Hold on. Huh? Oh yeah, what do we have to discuss? Huh? Don't fuck with. What do we have to discuss? Oh. <laughs> so you finally fuck? noticed, huh? Finally noticed what? I was looking through the Monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She dies in Makoto's dorm. Ah! Oh. What? She's right. <laughs> then, could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned towards me. Hold on a second, you've got it all wrong. For one night, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. <laughs> you expect heck? us to b believe that? Just tell us the truth. The look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes ago. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, y you think I did it? So then, are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Saika. We'll have to collect clues to form a foundation. Then, construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong... So... Well, do I really have to say more? Actually... I'd rather you didn't, no. Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. With that, Kyoka hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. And just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? Better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it! L let me just say this right now: if whatever son of a bitch did this is here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, you're fucking dead. They'd better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious. I will fuck them up. 
What the frick was that noise? <laughs> Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. So, um... But, I mean, you're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're supposed to investigate a murder? How do we even know something like this? Anyway... We don't really have anything in particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This is very suspicious. You are very suspicious, my lady. It was you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. <laughs> How about you don't come any closer to me? Don't come any closer. Are you gonna kill me next? So, um... Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. Um... That's true. We may as well at least check, just to check. What? <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help investigate. Huh. Wait, why not? Yeah, Leon's been, like, super quiet this entire time. I'm not good with blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Oh yeah? Well, pff, whatever. I don't think anyone is expecting much from you anyway. Alright, I guess I'd better get going. Well, wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And their parting looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will... Execution is... Execution. Execution! Electric chair! Bzz, bzz, poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! Yes, thank you. I'm sure we all remember those lovely lines. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. You mean murder bear, my boy. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Oh, is that all? Who really killed Sayaka? Alright, time to investigate. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the stomach, to the abdomen, sorry. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow I have to find out the truth, sorry, I'm just jamming out to this music. <laughs> so that we can all survive. And for Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed. Truth bullets. Oh boy. Alright. Oh gosh, we haven't. Oh gosh, praying to everyone. Hero doesn't seem to be prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. Alright, I'll just leave you be. Let's go check some things out. Alright, it would probably be best to go to my room first. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. We're on the same wavelength, bud. Ah, square! <laughs> we won't make much progress without investigating there. So, I headed to my room, where Saika's corpse still remained. Hello, <laughs> this is intimidating. <laughs> I'd better examine the state of the room a little closer. That might reveal someone new, something new. Sword, sword. 
This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised it's covered in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off of parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing lots of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. Lint roller. Huh? Looking at the lint roller, it looks like there's way less than there was before. Did Saika see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little bit? Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to leave at least most of the investigations in, depending on how long this gets, to see if what you guys think, to see if you guys can solve it along with me, because I'm probably going to take a break between here and the, between this episode and the trial, because I know that the trials take forever. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. Let me know what you guys think, if you want me to switch it up next time there's a trial. If you guys like the way I'm doing it. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it. So this must be my room key. If I remember correctly. When we switched rooms, we switched keys too. So Saika would have had the key to my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true, then how did the killer get into my room in the first place? Could Saika have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. After saying that, there is no way she would have just forgotten to lock it, or opened it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere, and someone grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. If Saika was in here when we switched rooms, and with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So, how did the killer... Truth bullets. There are scratches and gouges on my walls and the bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it! I, I was there in the other room! If only I'd heard something! Wait. That would not have been possible. Huh? huh? Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So, something could happen in the room right next to you, and there's no way you could know. Well. Perhaps it was another one of Monokuma's strategies. Creating an ideal setting for a murder. Probably. Oh, okay, I guess I'm talking to Sakura. Sakura, do you think I'm guilty hey. too? I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Maybe that's not the best idea. Trash con? Oh, I can't get to the trash can, okay. Toolkit is inside of the drawer. I don't see any evidence that it's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I'd need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. What? I ain't what? exactly in the mood to be building fucking furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either? What? Not just me, what? nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet. Cause like, why the hell would we? I mean, I don't know, if I was Makoto, I probably would have tried to fix my bathroom. Kyoko, I see you. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area. But 
What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no. <laughs> not really. The I'm mask is not obvious. Searching? Oh, he's such a baby boy. <laughs> She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be pre concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and Listen. said, Are you a clean freak? Huh? N no, I don't think so. But what... Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Unusual? What do you mean? So... I've searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you even though you've been living here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it to... I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single strand of hair on it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka? Or the killer? Well? That's the question, isn't it? Alrighty, time to go into the bathroom of death. I should look around here first. Oh, come on. Bed. Can I check the trash can now? No? Table. There it is, okay. Nope, that, those are the gouges. Mm, well. Huh? There's some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. But how did the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with the sword, the first thing you'd do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. You could just slide off the mi it could just slide off in the middle of the fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? Now can I check the bathroom of death? The bathroom. And on the other side of this door... Ooh, green. No. I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that had made her... Her? Sayaka. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But... That thought held me up and supported me. Okay. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but now's not the time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object had been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Saiga's right wrist was broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery on her wrist, too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. 
That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of both of her hands are totally spotless. So how come only her left finger? That must have happened earlier on. Sorry, talking about her wrist. I mean, how would her wrist have been broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Saika in the main room, which was when her wrist got broken. After all, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. I looked past Saika to the wall behind her, and there I saw... What? Written in blood were the numbers 11037. Did Saika do this? Is there anything else? I mean, obviously there's the knife. They're here. I think that's it. Because it's not letting me look at anything else other than those two things. So I'm guessing that's it. It would seem. It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers, that's most likely Saga's dying message. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? That's a very fair question. <laughs> but the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. I have no idea what they could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her blo body, blah, 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 body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, it means she wrote them by turning only her hand towards the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the results would be? The results? Well, think about it. You're not gonna tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I had no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. Makoto, you were, like, kind of dumb. Oh, I know who I should talk to when it comes to numbers. Who better task than the ultimate programmer? Makoto. There's another thing I want to ask you about. Do you know the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Gets stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was locked, but once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Correct. So the door wasn't quite fit the frame, huh? I'm actually referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob. <laughs> okay. So then. Okay. W what the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone do that? So... I guess maybe they're trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then, apparently struck with the realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have one more question for you. Yes, we know. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? 
Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um... Well, I did tell Saika about it last night when we switched rooms. So you're saying... Only you and Saika knew about it. Mm -hmm. Hmm, interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense she was really starting to get into all of this. I see. Then that clears that up. Huh? Clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. As if forgetting I was ever there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Okay, bye. I still don't really understand any of this, but... I've already given my, ro my room a good once over. Maybe I should look somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD side. Got. Okay, maybe this will wind up being two episodes as well. With Saika dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks, if they'll even talk to me, that is. Alright, yep, I'm gonna have to split this up into two different episodes. I don't even know why I have this many saves, I don't need it. Alright, yep, this is gonna be split up into two different episodes. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think so far, who you guys think it is if you haven't seen it already, if you have, no spoilers for anybody else. Um, thank you guys so much for putting up with the way things got like crazy busy in March. I don't even know why my schedule was just suddenly blasted fall. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Right down below me is a link to my YouTube channel. Over here is a video that YouTube recommends for you. As always, in this description below will be my Instagram handle. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!